open the GitHub repository of the Twint project. The link will be in the description. Scroll down to the installing section and copy the pip3 command, the longer one. If you are on Windows, open the WSL Ubuntu terminal. If you are on Linux or Mac, your default terminal should work okay. Paste the pip3 command we just copied and let it install. I've already installed it, so it's saying requirement already satisfied. Yours should just show a little bit different. Make sure Twint is installed by also running Twint H. Go to the CLI Basic Examples and Combo section of the Twint GitHub and click on the wiki link. There is a full list of commands we can use in the Basic Usage Wiki. Here we will use the combination of since and until command. The Twitter account that we will scrape is of Android Dev Notes. This command will scrape all the tweets since the 20th of May 2020 until the 1st of March 2020 in the JSON format. Open the JSON file in VS Code, which was just created as we ran the command. This file as a whole is not the proper JSON format. To make it a proper JSON, follow these two steps. First, wrap the content in the items array in the top and bottom as shown. Second, Add commas after each JSON object with the help of rejects in the above field, add rejects, and in the below field, we add the capture group $0 followed by the comma. Just make sure to remove the very last comma. Press Ctrl Shift P and type format document to prettify the content. Alternatively, you could also press the shortcut Shift-Alt-F. There are lots of JSON notes that were retrieved while scraping. We can remove those that we don't need. Open the filter.py file. The link will be in the description. In this file, the names at the left can be modified as per your need, while the name in the item array should match exactly our JSON nodes. You can remove add any data as you need. Even if you don't understand Python, you simply need to edit the English names as shown and run it. I is for input file and O is for the output. As we can see, the filter.py command removed the JSON nodes we didn't specify. Now to convert the JSON into HTML or markdown table. Install JSON to HTML package and run this command. The JSON to HTML.py file is linked in the description. You don't need to understand or modify its code. Remove the letter B in surrounding quotations and press Shift Alt F to format the HTML. Remove the unnecessary table tags as shown in the video. The work is done. The Twitter JSON data is properly formatted into the readable HTML table. For the demo, copy and paste the HTML into the GitHub Markdown file.
that's it. All the created date tweets, likes, retweets, links, and all the other data we specified is here in the table format. And if you like this video, please subscribe to Android Dev Notes and also feel free to check out my content. I talk about my life and try to make videos every Tuesday and Friday. Check out below on Twitter and also on IG, YouTube. Um, look at me at Timidi. Thank you. Enjoy your video.